what's up guys welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first time you're ever seeing my face hello and welcome my name's jennifer i share all things health and wellness here on the channel anything i do to level up my own life i share with you guys in hopes to inspire and motivate you to do the same so if that sounds like your cup of tea make sure to smash that subscribe button before we jump into today's video all right guys what's up welcome back to another week of what's for dinners these dinners have been over the last couple weeks because if you've been following me then you know i was out of town and i didn't cook while i was out of town i didn't film any of the dinners or anything like that so some of them are from before I left and I have a few more that will be coming up in next week's video that are super awesome but a couple of these were like hands down some of my favorite meals that I have made in a super super long time and I've shown a bunch of them over on Instagram and you guys have been waiting for the recipe so let's go ahead and jump into the dinners so here's what I have going on for dinner tonight I am making some Hawaiian meatballs in the crock pot so in my bowl here I have two pounds of ground beef I have two eggs chopped onion flakes some crushed up pork rinds I just use the attachment with my immersion blender and crushed up the pork rinds if you guys don't have one of these immersion blenders you are totally missing out it comes with a different couple different attachments like a whisk um, the pulser and then this thing just a few things it's literally like my most favorite kitchen tool but anyways, so the pork rinds and I have paprika, some of the complete seasoning, parsley, salt, and pepper. I would normally add Parmesan cheese to this, but of course you guys know I'm dairy free right now. So I'm just going to mix all this together and form all the meatballs and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so I have the meatballs all formed up and I have them in this huge skillet here. I'm going to brown them off just a little bit just to kind of render some of the fat off before I put them in the crock pot. That way there's just like less grease and fat in the crock pot once they cook plus it'll just give them some extra flavor and crisp them up on the outside a little bit and then once I have them all nice and browned I'll pop them in the crock pot and show you what I'm adding to it all right so I have all the meatballs in the crock pot now as you can see they're not all the way done but they're nice and crispy on the outside and they rendered a ton of fat so now I don't have to have that in the crock pot while I'm cooking it with the sauce and everything I just like to do that when cooking hamburger in the crock pot so on top of it I'm going to add some of this Hawaiian style barbecue sauce from Primal Kitchen and I only have about a half of a jar or so so we'll see how it looks once I add it in there I might end up adding a little bit of this no soy island teriyaki from Primal Kitchen and then I'm also going to drain the juice from this and dump the pineapple chunks in there as well all right so I have them all covered in sauce and then dump the pineapples in there and then topped it with a little bit of parsley I didn't end up using any of the teriyaki sauce I just saved a little bit of the juice out of this and then dumped it in here and got every drop of what was left in here and it worked out perfect I'll check it about halfway through and see if I need to add any more sauce. Now I'm just going to put it on low for four hours. All right, so the meatballs have been in the crock pot for about four and a half hours right now, and they are smelling absolutely delicious. And I am going to be making um, sweet potatoes and some roasted carrots with them. I got this bag of organic rainbow carrots from Whole Foods and I just put it on a baking sheet that I lined here with foil, brushed it with some avocado oil, threw some complete seasoning on there and I'm going to pop this in the oven at 400 for about 25 or 30 minutes. Can we just appreciate the beautifulness, if that's a word, of these carrots out of the oven? They look awesome and I'm sure they're going to taste delicious too. But these also smell and look delish, but we're plating all this up. So I will show you guys as soon as I get it plated so up. Here is dinner all plated up. This is like looking and smelling like the bomb.com. On here I have some of the dairy-free vegan butter. I've shown you guys this before. And a little bit of cinnamon on my sweet potato. And then I have the roasted carrots or baked carrots rather and the pineapple and meatballs everything is looking and smelling delicious and i am starving so this is dinner tonight you guys absolutely have to try these carrots they were like the bomb.com and the meatballs this was like one of the best dinners we have had in a super long time everybody in the family ate some everybody loved it kids included it was definitely a hit you guys have got to try this all right guys so here's what we have going on for dinner tonight it is taco tuesday and i am making a mexican 
Mexican beef and zucchini skillet. I haven't done this before. This is the first time I'm making it. So hopefully it turns out good. I'll link the original recipe that I kind of got the idea from down below. Found on Pinterest, of course. But I have two packs of ground beef here. Two pounds, rather, of ground beef here. I'm going to season it with complete seasoning, the Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning, and some ground cumin. Also going to add some chopped garlic in there, as well as a can of Rotel mild diced tomatoes and green chilies and then an extra little can of the fire roasted diced green chilies also chopped up one yellow onion and then i have a few zucchini here that i'm going to chop and add in at the end so i'll show you as i'm putting this all together so i have the onions and the ground beef all browned up and now i've added my rotel my diced green chilies my garlic and all my seasonings i'm going to mix this all up and cook it for a minute and then i'll add the zucchini in after this is cooked so for a my second. beef mixture is done and it is smelling absolutely delicious now i just add added all my cubed zucchini. I'm just going to mix this together and turn it down to low, cover it and let it cook for probably 10-15 minutes just till the zucchini is nice and soft. All right guys, I figured I'd go ahead and show you. I am whipping up some guacamole here. I think I've shown this on my channel before, but super easy. I have two avocados in here. I cut up some of these um, grape tomatoes. I have a little bit of this salsa in there, probably like a tablespoon or so, and then some of the chili lime seasoning. And I'm just going to mash this all, all up right, together. There's the guacamole all mixed up and I hit it with the immersion blender and it is like absolutely the perfect consistency and taste thebomb.com so I'll show you as soon as I plate up our bowl. All right so I have some fried cauliflower rice here in the bottom of the bowl and I'm just gonna scoop some of the zucchini and beef skillet greatness right on top. All right so here's my Mexican beef skillet bowl all made up and it is like looking and smelling absolutely delicious. Like I said, I have the cauliflower rice on the bottom. I had some left over in the fridge, so everybody else in the fam does white rice. So I just had a little bit of this left over to throw in my bowl. And then the meat and zucchini mixture. And then the homemade guacamole right on top. And that will be dinner tonight. All right, guys, here's what we have going on for dinner tonight. I'm making salmon patties out of the Southern Keto Cookbook. I'm only changing up one thing because I'm dairy-free right now, so I'm not adding the Parmesan cheese in there. And we'll just see how it comes together. I'm doubling the recipe. It normally calls just for one can of salmon. I have one can of red salmon here, one can of pink salmon here, a half a cup of almond flour, two eggs, some Primal Kitchen mayo, complete seasoning, parsley, a lime. It should have lemon juice, but I have a lime, so that'll work. And then I chopped up a bunch of green onion here. Gonna mix all this together and form the patties. All right, guys, so I just put everything in the bowl together and I'm just gonna mix it all together and patty these up. So I have the salmon patties all pattied up here. I'm just gonna put them in the freezer for like 15 or 20 minutes just so they firm up a little bit, especially since I don't have the cheese binder in there before I pan fry them. So I just pulled the patties out of the freezer and they firmed up really nice. So I'm going to pan fry them here in this big skillet that I have with just a little bit of this coconut oil with non-dairy butter flavor. And then I'm also going to steam this California blend frozen bag of veggies to go with it. All right, guys, so here's dinner all plated up. It was super quick. It came together really easy. These salmon cakes are amazing, and they actually held together really good, even without the Parmesan cheese, so that's awesome. Here I just made up some homemade tartar sauce. I used the chipotle lime mayo from Primal Kitchen. I haven't tried this before, but I've heard awesome stuff about it. And then I used dill relish, and then I added just a little bit of some monk fruit sweetener in there and it tastes awesome and then I just paired some steamed veggies with it I had frozen broccoli cauliflower and carrots and then I added some of the dairy-free vegan butter on top of the veggies and that will be dinner tonight all right guys so here's what we have going on for dinner tonight we are doing breakfast for dinner tonight super simple I have two packs of bacon here that I'm gonna throw on the griddle I'm gonna make up some omelets and in them I'm going to do like onions mushroom spinach not sure exactly everything I'm going to put in it yet. And then I'm going to saute some onions and radishes on the side. These you can make really good. I haven't done it in a long time. But like faux potatoes with radishes and they taste absolutely awesome. So I'm going to start getting all this together and then I will show you when I plate it up. I've also decided to make up some jalapeno poppers to go with our dinner tonight just because I had these and I needed to use them up. You guys know that I'm going out of town tomorrow for a week. My family won't be cooking a lot, so anything they're not going to be using, I'm trying to use up just so it's not bad while I'm gone. So I have the jalapeno poppers here. I just de-seeded them and then split them open, and I am using two different cream cheeses, the Kite Hill Dairy-Free Chive Cream Cheese. And then remember, I tried this one if you've been following me like 
tub a few weeks ago and I just didn't really like it by itself so I've been saving it to cook with it somehow so I just mixed some of these two together and then I added some complete seasoning and some of the chopped onion flakes and then some of the bacon that I cooked up I just chopped there and I'm going to put that on top and I'm going to pop these in the oven maybe 20 minutes or so i have the oven preheated at 350 so i'm gonna go ahead and make them up now all right here's these beautiful poppers i just topped them with that bacon that i chopped up a little bit of parsley and now i'm gonna toss them in the oven all right guys so here is dinner all plated up i just did spinach and green onion in the omelets then i have the bacon one of the jalapeno poppers these turned out really good and then the radishes and onions i just sauteed in the coconut oil with non-dairy butter flavor and they turned out awesome so super quick and easy and delicious dinner tonight. All right, guys, so that will do it for this week of What's for Dinners. I hope you guys got some ideas or inspiration to cook up some stuff for your own family. And, of course, like I always say, you guys know that I'm keto, and right now I'm dairy-free and eating super clean and all of that, but my family does not eat that way, so I just adjust accordingly, and it has worked out. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? We make it work. So everybody eats a little bit different, and I know that doesn't work for everybody, but that works for our family, and it has worked so far. So we just adjust as we need to for dinners each and every night, and it works out awesome and you guys can also do the same let me know down below if you guys try any of these out or if any variations that you do i love getting ideas from you guys as well and also definitely make sure to check me out over on instagram i'll pop my handle on the screen here for more meal ideas and all of that and any of the meals that i got inspiration from pinterest or whatever i will pop their original recipes down below definitely definitely recommend trying out those meatballs and carrots hands down one of our favorite dinners and I didn't have to adjust anything everybody in the family absolutely loved that one I'm definitely going to be making those again those meatballs were like out of this world delicious so highly highly recommend that as well as the Mexican beef skillet super super good but you guys give me some ideas down below anything you want to see me create or any variations like I said I love getting ideas from you guys as well and I appreciate you guys watching these videos every week if you know anybody that these meals might help out or give them ideas or inspiration for definitely share the video out and if you guys are enjoying these make sure to like them that definitely helps me out and lets me know to keep these videos coming comment down below and if you're brand new don't forget to subscribe so you'll become part of the youtube fam hit that little notification bell every time i upload a new video youtube will notify you and you won't miss out on any of the videos i post here on the channel and again thank you guys so very much for watching and i will catch y'all in the next video